Hi everyone, we are back from our amazing Hawaii vacation. We are settling back in at home on our Pennsylvania homestead. And in case it was not already extremely obvious from the thumbnail and the title of our video this week, this is the week of Cleo. Jonathan's filling up the tank. It is only eight o'clock on a Saturday morning for us to be dressed and in the car for already a half an hour at this point on a Saturday morning is pretty unheard of unless there is something big happening. And there is something big happening today. We are on the way to pick up a puppy. Say who is this? Who is this? <laughs> This is Cleo. I know what's going on. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, honey. Oh. A potty break on the way home. We tried to stop about an hour in, and Cleo says, I don't want to go potty, I just want to snuggle my Sizzy. Sizzy snuggles. Uh, Annie desperately wanted to hold Cleo, so we thought we'd give it a try, and so far, so good. Cleo's a little bit nervous, but obviously that's to be expected. Her mama was um, watching Daddy when Here we come, Arlo. We're gonna be home soon. Ready or not. That's right. Here we come. If you are a Follow the Whisper regular, you are very much aware of Arlo, who is our three-year-old Newfoundland. Yes, Cleo also is a Newfoundland. The burning question that I know all of you want to know is how is big brother Arlo adjusting? And he's doing amazing. We just got home with Cleo. Let's go back here, buddy. You're getting a buddy. What do you see, buddy? What's out there? Hold on, Arlo. <laughs> Arlo, mommy's gonna come out this way, buddy. You excited? Say hi. <laughs> yes, good puppies. Like, right, hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a buddy? Did you beat a ZZ? Oh no. This is clean. Oh no. Did you beat a Let's you go. Give her a kiss. Give Sissy a kiss. Hello. He's like, not really. I don't really want to. Arlo. Well, I'm Give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. Please, Aww. mama. Give her a kiss. He's like, I gave her a sniff. She's going to drink right now. His initial reaction was like curiosity, sniff, sniff. What is this thing? Is she staying? And then it was pretty much indifference. Like, whatever, no big deal. And she would try to walk by him or play. He would just kind of like turn his head and walk away. Now we are progressing into some interest and him trying to initiate play with her. He loves the fact that having a puppy means that there are lots of training treats on hand. He likes to remind us that he already knows how to sit and come, be nice and stay and all of the things that we are trying to teach Cleo. Say, sissy doesn't really give two rips about what's in my pocket, but you do, don't you? What does mommy have in her pocket? Do I have training treats in my pocket? Should I give you one? Are you a good boy? Be nice. Good boy. Say, sissy's eating sticks. She likes sticks better than treats. I wouldn't say that Arlo is in love yet, but I definitely think that he likes her. And I can't wait to show you the footage, but today was the first time when I will say that there was an official snuggle. I thought that putting out these videos was difficult as it was when we were busy with renovations and construction. Now I am laughing at myself at how simple those times seemed because life with a puppy, as any of you who have ever had one know, is very busy. Oh, are you gonna go pee pee? Let's go potty. Let's go pee pee. Hey, the things that you get excited hey. about when you have a puppy. You be on pee pee watch. Yeah. So today was the first 
full 24 hours that we had with Cleo. It's a little bit of a blur because I did not really sleep last night, but positive things. She's doing amazing. She hasn't had any accidents inside yet. That that will change tomorrow. Tomorrow, the kids and I have co-op for homeschool in the morning and that's okay. It's just part of the process. We are just crossing our fingers and hoping that tonight is a little bit better from the crate perspective. Basically from like three o'clock onward, she didn't really fall back asleep and getting her to fall asleep initially was a little bit rough. She was really worked up and actually got sick in the belly. Yeah, just the realities of owning a puppy. It is a lot of work, but thankfully we've been through it before. So we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Doing good. We're gonna go play with pup here a little bit outside and then settle down for the evening. So fingers crossed, I wish us luck. Honestly, the transition has gone as good, if not better than any of us could have hoped for, but puppy life is a busy life. I am using the quiet free hour that I have while Annie is in her dance class, and that is why you will find me recording from my car this week. Say it's tiring work to have a sissy. <laughs> The timing of getting Cleo was kind of comical. We just got home from a two week trip and it was a far away trip. Seems like we have a thing for this because when we picked Arlo up, we had actually not been home in seven weeks. Arlo was picked up in Ohio, which was the final stop of a huge road trip that Jonathan, the kids and I took back in 2020. It's just kind of funny the way that everything worked out and the way that little Miss Cleo landed in our laps and has joined the Bowsman family. Hi. Hi. As much as I love and adore Arlo, I was not sure that I wanted a second dog. And that's not because he's not a wonderful dog. It's because he's the perfect dog. Apart from the fact that yes, he's a Newfoundland. So that does mean some slobber at times and some shedding and he takes up a lot of space. Anybody who knows Arlo loves Arlo. He is so funny. He's just the best. He's not a needy dog. He's not a loud dog. He's just so sweet and I really I really didn't want to rock the boat because I was worried that there was no way we were ever going to top him. I don't know that I would have sought out another dog. Cleo, fortunately, just happened to fall on our lap. Back in the beginning of December, I got an unexpected message from a former coworker. She said, hey, I saw this post. This is a, a rescue that I love and I'm very familiar with. And I thought of you guys immediately. There was a two-year-old Newfie who was surrendered and needed to be rehomed. And what they didn't realize at the time was that she was pregnant with 11 puppies. So not only did mama need to be rescued, but all of the pups needed loving homes and preferably homes that had Newf experience. I first reached out about mama because I thought maybe a two-year-old would be a little bit easier. I very much remembered the puppy days from Arlo and having a puppy when it's cold outside is not super fun for me, especially because I like my sleep. You guys know that by now. Mama had already had several applications, but the puppies needed homes. So we applied saying maybe, you know, we'll see if we get approved. Turns out that we were one of the families to get kind of a first pick just because we have land, we have a fenced in backyard. John Jonathan and I are both home all of the time and we have that very important Newfoundland experience. We're used to the huge breed, we're used to their quirks, and so our home was a good fit. <coughs> If any of you are wondering where her name came from, we knew that we wanted to stick with the Disney theme. Arlo's name came from the main character in The Good Dinosaur. I wanted something that I felt fit Arlo. I wanted the names to go together very well. In Pinocchio, Geppetto's goldfish, her name is Cleo. So that is where Cleo's name came from. Do you love having another puppy? Yes. She has been like a real helper. She has done a lot with Cleo. So we set up a playpen. We actually had to connect two of them together just because obviously she's a large puppy. There wasn't really a lot of room for us to be in here. Well, in terms of a puppy, she's large. She's been quite a sweet little addition. And we think Arlo is getting the idea that she's not going anywhere, is she buddy? 
All told, Cleo is a pretty typical noof. She is chill for a puppy. She's still a puppy, certainly. And that's only going to be amplified as she gets a little bit older and a little bit bigger. But in puppy terms, she's very sweet. She's a lot smaller than Arlo was. And a lot of that is probably just because she's female. Good girl. Good girl. She's a big girl going for a big walk. Lead the way, brother. Her number one mortal enemy is definitely the crate. I'm just gonna say it bluntly, we suck at crate training. We were basically crate failures when it came to Arlo. We never really got good at it, so eventually we caved because he was an angel puppy overnight and never had an accident and never destroyed anything. With Miss Cleo, we are trying to be a little bit more maybe intentional, I guess I would say. It's hilarious because I can't tell you how many people in my life are like, oh, our dogs love their crate. They always go in there. They knew they were getting a treat. They run right in. Nope, nope, nope. During the daytime is a little bit easier. She will nap in there sometimes without too big of a fight, but overnight, oh guys, I'm sleeping on the floor with her. If that's what it means for her to adjust, and if that's what it takes for me to get a couple of hours of sleep a night, I'm gonna do it. Because with Arlo, I feel like Jonathan and I did not sleep for weeks. It was really bad. <laughs> Say babies and puppies are lucky they're cute, otherwise nobody would have them, right? <laughs> they look how sweet she is and how peacefully she sleeps. And we don't put her in the big scary box. All in all, the first few days of Cleo have been amazing. It feels kind of like it did when Jonathan and I had Annie. When we found out that Clark was not going to be our only anymore, there was like a little bit of grief, honestly, that we were gonna have to share our love. There was a little bit of worry that maybe our hearts didn't have room to love another baby like we loved Clark, and of course they did. As cheesy as it sounds, it feels the same way all over again. I was worried that Arlo would be really upset with us or jealous or that we would ruin his life oh <laughs> he stole it from him that's a good boy buddy that's a good boy cleo did you take your butter's toy <laughs> my goodness you're vocal this morning it's been awesome to see Arlo in his big brother puppy role because he's doing it so well. He's such a good teacher. She looks to him and sees, oh, he's calm, he's resting, he's quiet, and she does those things. So love seeing their relationship grow. I love him all the more. I love the ways that this helps my kids step it up with being responsible for something else, something that is a lot of work, but something that we wanted and chose as a family. And I love the way that it pushes my marriage because Jonathan and I have to work together as a team. We have another being in our home that needs a lot of time and a lot of attention. We knew that it was gonna be a sacrifice for a couple of months to miss out on sleep and routine and all of the comfortable things that we had going. But if you know nothing else about us here at Follow the Whisper, it's that we don't do boring and we don't too comfortable for very long. Felt like an appropriate time to shake things up again. So here we go. It's just the start of the growth of our homestead. But I just wanted to report that after three nights of me sleeping on the floor next to a girlfriend, I was finally able to graduate and sleep in my bed last night, which after sleeping three nights on the floor felt quite amazing. She's still learning to be in the crate. She doesn't love it. And so we're working through that. Little by little, we're making progress, trying to just kind of get a feel for her what is needed for development and pottying versus what is just that she doesn't like being in there and she has anxiety so we're working through it aren't we baby girl but mommy got to sleep in her own bed is it a little bit funny that the first animal that was added to our homestead is not at all a farm animal and is instead a family dog? A little bit, but in other ways, I think it's perfect. I think it makes sense. We're so excited to see her grow up on our farm. We're so excited for all of the next steps when it comes to animals, which are going to be chickens and bees and pigs. We're just thankful for all of it.
I have spent more time in my backyard in the four days that we have owned Cleo than I was in that yard since we settled on our house back at the end of July. Already, I can see that while there are sacrifices with having a puppy, there are also really good things because I have been outside so much and thank heavens, even though it's February, it has been so sunny. So I am getting my vitamin D fix and I have cleaned up like a lot of crap that I never even knew was in that backyard. All kidding aside, it has been a wonderful start to our lives with Cleo. We love her. We are so thankful that she's ours. We are happy for all of you to get to know her and for you to watch her grow. Little victories to show you that our family is adjusting. Number one, my winter coat is just now like a part of my everyday apparel because I'm in and out so much. Dinner on the table. Jonathan even had to work on site today and we are all in one piece and fed and functional. And look at this. I don't want to draw attention and I don't know if you can see it, but she's in her great napping. Progress. We're gonna do this. A few channel things that I wanted you to be aware of. We are going to be putting out another Hawaii video probably in the next week or two. Puppy life, it might be longer than that, but I'm gonna be ambitious and say in the next week or two. It's not gonna be our typical vlog style. That is going to be more an informational video for families who are traveling to the Big Island to help them with their vacation planning. Please, please, as always, I would ask you when you see that video come out, if you would not mind going ahead and watching it for us. It's always helpful to have likes and views from our regular followers, then we are hoping that that will be a video that newcomers can also search and discover for themselves. I think there will be a video next weekend, but if there is not, don't panic or think that we've gone anywhere. We want to make sure that the videos we put out are as quality as they can be. As always, thank you so much for watching and being a part of our family, especially when our family is growing and going through exciting changes. We are so thankful for you and we will see you next time. That's a good boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Realities of video editing with a puppy. Even with having an angel good puppy, puppies need a lot of supervision. And so I find that it's easier to edit the video outside. Here's how we know that we have a new puppy. <laughs> I haven't seen, I've said that many times on our video. Arlo, are you taking notes? Because you're not very good at potter cures. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Did you do a pee pee? <laughs> Say it's so funny to be a puppy and she ought to break your pee pee. Good job. Good job. Oh no, don't eat my hair. No bite. Up, 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 up. Can you kiss, kiss? No, not a bite. Lesson one, bunny poop is delicious. Lesson number two, bark at the turkey vultures. <laughs> Lesson number three,